definitely is a circle K. You still have your uh, gas pumps, but you also have your Alpitronic Hypercharger 300s and 400s. I'm charging up the Lucid underneath the canopy, which is always nice to have. But as you see here, they have actually ripped out gas pumps and they put the EV charging underneath the uh, beautiful canopy. Lucid's already plugged in and charging. It's rush hour here. So it's very, very, very busy. You got the taxis charging. You got the e-golf that's just leaving charging up here. Let's check what our um, session is over here. We'll click that one. 164 kilowatts. So we plugged in about two minutes ago, right before I started filming. Uh, super easy to use. You could just pay with your credit card here, or you can use the usual charging cards or apps or anything like that. So on this end here, you have all your EV charging. We will go check that out in a moment. You also have your car washing facilities here. You have more EV charging over there. We'll walk around this way. And that's the everything here in uh, Norway. Car washes are big. There's car washes everywhere. Everyone's washing their cars. Um, there's people's cars are uh, clean. So now we have some EV charging over here, more Alpitronic hypercharger. There's one, two Alpitronic hypercharger 400s over here. And these ID buzzes are everywhere here. They're absolutely everywhere. I've never seen so many ID buzzes in my life. And for those saying that they're a failure, well, maybe in the North American market, but definitely not here. These are everywhere. And these cool car washes. These look like car washes back at home. And we'll walk back across this way. So it's about it's about 6.30 here. So it's rush hour. So everybody's fueling up. Everybody's charging up. The Lucid looks amazing underneath the canopy here. Uh, we have a BMW i4 M50 and more Alpitronic Hypercharger 300s up over here. We'll go in the back over here. And of course, we all know Norway has excellent EV charging infrastructure. So you have one, two, three, and four hypercharger 400s. I believe there was tritium units here once upon a time, but those have been ripped out quite a long time ago. And again, um, Alpitronic here in Europe, they're sort of everywhere. Uh, power equipment is up there. Unfortunately, there's not really too, too much listed on it here. And yeah, this is the good stuff here. And these cables, what are these cables rated at? These cables are rated at, I cannot see. These are Anthenol cables. I can't see what they're rated at. And these people are, are charging up here. I try not to film people, so I try not to be that guy. But this is a really, really nice site. Let's go check what the uh, Lucid is doing. Has this Hyundai Kona EV is also here. The taxi is charging up. Inside you have your usual gas station amenities. Although I do, I do believe you could go inside and initiate a charge. I'm not 100% sure on that. We have a Neo EL6 that's charging up there as well. And Velucid has been absolutely amazing on this. One thing that impresses me here is most people seem to be only charging for about 10 or 15 minutes. There's none of these big deep charges that are going on. But site turnover is very, very high. Uh, that guy with that, M, with that uh, I4 M50, he wasn't here long. He rolled in after we did. We're still charging up. We've been here 15 minutes and the Lucid is doing its cool light dance. And just behind us, two ID3s just pulled in after two other cars just left. So nobody really charges up here for these long lengths of time like we do back at home where we do these, some of us anyways, do these long 20 minute, half an hour, these long deep charges. Everyone here seems to get in, stay for five to 15 minutes if that and get out and go do their thing. I noticed this the other day when we rolled into Oslo, 
just here, just off the uh, highway, and people were, were doing that as well. They were only charging basically what they needed. Uh, so if anyone is from Oslo, or if anyone's from Norway, please let me know if that's kind of a, a normal charging thing where you're only charging to get to the next day or the next few days or to where you, you need to go. Because it's not something we really see back in North America. I mean, we do it. We do 15 minute charges on uh, trips because the infrastructure is not great, but the infrastructure is amazing here. Again, let's just have a quick look at it. So you have four Alpitronic Hypercharger 400s here, as we pointed out. But what's interesting, again, is that they have Chatamo on them because there is a, still a lot of Chatamo cars here. There's a lot of Nissan Leafs. There's a lot of old infrastructure as well at uh, charging sites that's still in place. But this is all new. This is all new and uh, updated here. So I think we're going to go unplug. We'll go unplug our car. Ah, that Lucid looks great. It looks so futuristic charging underneath a closed port with the light dance going on. And one of the ID3s just left now. He was literally here for not even five minutes. And there's another ID3 that's um, charging up just over there. So I'm really the only guy that's doing this 15, 20 minute or longer charge session only because we're filming and we have another ID buzz there. I told you they're everywhere here. These ID buses are everywhere here. And let's get, you know what? Tomorrow we're going up to Bergen. I think we'll stay here another uh, two or three minutes and we shall head out back to town. So yeah, we'll unplug at the uh, 20 minute mark. And you see everything here is cool. I'd like to see more covered charging like this. I believe we are going to visit another site like this. Just south of Bergen. And we got the Lucid all plugged in to the Alpitronic Hypercharger 400. Let's see what we're doing here. We plugged in at 10% state of charge. We're already pulling 209 kilowatts. It's already ramping down. Uh, you got a couple options to pay here. I paid with the credit card reader, but you can do charge card and uh, all of that stuff at the same time. 685 volts, 290 amp. I believe these are 350 amp cables, if my memory serves me right. No, 375 amp cables. But this is essentially what EV charging has become in uh, Norway. Very nice locations, covered charging. And we have one, two, three, four Alpitronic Hypercharger 400s, each with two handles on each, po on each post. So you can charge eight cars here. But also what's interesting is you have Chatamo, there's still legacy Chatamo here. There's a lot of Chatamo cars that are still kicking around in Norway because they were one of the first adopters of EVs. So you will have legacy equipment. I believe this used to be a tritium site at uh, some point. And you, again, you have your Chatamo cable and these are rated the same thing at 350 amps actually. So they're a bit lower but super, super nice site. Circle K, we all know, is a Canadian company these days. They're owned by Kushar. They're just north of Montreal in Laval. And they've gone really, really deep into EV charging. This is not the first Circle K site that we have come to, but it's definitely one of the most interesting is that they're actually ripping out gas pumps and putting in EV charging. We were at a site the other day and they actually had four of these posts and only one gas pump. So that was also pretty interesting. Let's go see what's happening on our charging session here. We'll go check this out. Active sessions. Click on that. Come on. There we go. Click here. Yeah, we're already at 166 kilowatts. It's tapered down. I've been preconditioning the battery for a good half an hour. 690 volts, 240 amps. So this Lucid, Lucid Air Pure, so base spec, 430 horsepower, uh, 88 kilowatt hour battery. It's the rental car spec, but it's been absolutely fantastic on this trip. When I mean fantastic, it has really, really been eating up the miles like you wouldn't believe. We'll have the full review of this car up, but it just looks so futuristic here underneath the canopy 
it's almost like you're living in 2040. That's how cool it is. And of course, Laura's in the car. She's not happy that we're out continually filming all these charging sites. It's driving her crazy, but this is what the channel is all about. I always try to bring you interesting things. And this is what we're out here. Primarily why I pushed to come to Norway so hard is to check out all this cool charging and all this uh, cool EV, EVs, EV infrastructure that uh, they set up here because they really built it fast. It got really built fast here. All the, all the high speed stuff anyways. Let me just grab a photo of this because that's gonna be a good YouTube thumbnail, I think. But sometimes you gotta enjoy vacation. And I, I was a bit, I was a bit jaded at first because everyone always talked about, when I mean everyone, other EV influencers, they were always talking about how good the uh, EV charging infrastructure was here. And to be honest with you, when we got here, I was a bit, uh, I wasn't disappointed, but I wasn't too impressed. But as we spent more time here, I started realizing just how good it is. And what I mean is how good it is, is that you have high speed equipment everywhere you go. And much like back home in uh, Montreal, a lot of places they've kept the legacy equipment, the slower speed stuff, because it does have Chatamo. But everywhere else they've added uh, 300 kilowatt. I would say 300 kilowatt is the minimum charging here. And it goes all the way up to 500 kilowatt. We saw one 500 kilowatt uh, post in uh, Oslo. So everything is new. Everything is high speed. They're installing infrastructure here like crazy in this part of the world. It's absolutely ridiculous. It's not a case of this is just a cherry picked site as that uh, motorcycle drives away. They love loud motorcycle exhaust here. That's something else I noticed. And something else I noticed is the Norwegians only charge what they need. They don't do these deep charge sessions like we do at home. We were at an Ionity site today and we were there for 20 minutes and it must have turned over four or five cars. Like they came in, plugged in, charged for five, 10 minutes and left. We were the ones doing these massive deep charging cycles. So that's something else to note. Basically people are only charging what they need and they're not holding up the sites. The sites are turning over quick, but super, super cool. Um, I could talk about this all day. And what's nice is that there's multiple charging providers as well. We'll do another video, if it will go out before this one, but we'll slot it in. We'll visit a couple sites to show you the different charging providers, but I really wanted to film Circle K first because obviously it's uh, owned by a, a local company in, in Montreal. So there's definitely some, uh, some interest in uh, that. Let's go check how the uh, Lucid is doing. Lucid is doing well. I just wanted to go check how this is doing before we head out because we've been doing all this DC fast charging, checking out the infrastructure here. We're at 36%, it's tapered down. I think we'll bounce around 50%. And again, you could charge four EVs here. You could charge one, two, three, four. There's a cool looking W124 there with the usual rust on it. I know because I had a few of those cars. And again, these are, these are 375 amp cables weird they would do that and advertise 400 kilowatts i guess there's a boost function on here or something but super cool again uh, that's your service area here at the gas stations they they love their car washing and service areas like i'm not a big fan of gas stations but you know as far as gas stations go this is a nice one and again looks super nice super nice and modern this is a nice new modern installation and the lucid it's doing it's um light dance as I call it, where it's light show while it's charging. It's lighting up the rear of the car. I don't know if you could see it on camera because it's LED. It's lighting up the rear of the car and it's lighting up the front of the car. One thing I noticed is they don't advertise the kilowatt hour price on the uh, sign. I've seen that in Denmark. I've seen that even here in Norway at a few places where they advertise the um, prices of, um, of EV charging. I don't think we need to focus too, too much more on the uh, site itself. Let's go check out some data here. And I think we'll call it a day after that one here. We'll click this one. It will say active session. Again, Alpitronic, proper, proper stuff. 703 volts, 179 amps. We've been here. How long have we been here? Here, 11 minutes 
have we been here 11 yeah 11 minutes and five seconds we arrived 11 percent state of charge we've already gone up to 41 percent state of charge so not too too bad just i think we're amp limited or for what, or for what the car is uh requesting but yeah that's the cable management on the uh, lptronic unix i'm just rambling on here we'll wait for the car to charge up and we'll head out and we'll give some final thoughts let me get unplugged here we've been here long enough let's see how to stop this we'll go back to language we'll click here boom and we'll go to active sessions let's click ccs that do 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 do, do. stop do you want to stop charging confirm stop session with the same payment yeah we'll use the card we'll press that the card is there and that's it session is stopped or should be stopped at least and it is stopping let's get unplugged it should pop out right away because it's proper equipment that will go back in i want to say thanks to everyone who's recently subscribed to the channel thanks to all the usual viewers um, i really appreciate all all the support we do this for you we like to show ev ownership ev charging all the funny ev stuff from actual the enthusiast perspective that's why we love coming here to europe renting interesting cars and, and uh, driving them we love doing it and we'll bring more from norway we'll bring more from denmark we'll bring more from from germany so from here at the circle k charging site just south of bergen We'll see you in the next video and thank you for watching. And what about this Lucid? Look how good it looks. You've got to admit it looks good. We'll see you next time.